Good morning, welcome to Rochelle's Review. Again, I'm Rochelle, I'm sitting here and I'm having fading some morning reflections. It's um, 5.35. Who can tell me what that is? Yes, yes, yes. Anybody that grew up in the Caribbean would know what that sound. Um, I'm sitting here reflecting. 48 years. You see this? Gray hairs. And I'm sitting and I'm wondering how much of us can really sit back and take away the filters, take away the lashes take away the fake hair take away um all the things that make us beautiful and look deep deep within themselves and ask are you really as beautiful as you portray yourself to be well honestly i Yes, I'm even more so because I think about others. I care for the ones I love. I even care for the one that doesn't necessarily love me. You know, there are a bunch of people that, oh, I love you, I love you. They show none of that. When you speak to them, they just say the cliches. Oh, if I love you one more time, if I love you one more time, you show none of that. If I think about you, I call you. I don't wait until I need you to call you. I just thought about something that you may have said that put a smile on my face or took me out of a um, sticky situation or helped me to overcome certain obstacles. There are sometimes when you just say, wow, that person don't know what they did for me at that time. Yeah. I was just reflecting, sitting here waiting for the kettle to go off to make the tea. And not start my day because I started my day already making, no, I had to take, um, my husband's finger stick and make sure he's okay because many 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 times he made sure that I was okay so it's only right yeah but another thing that I want to discuss is aside from the filters and the fakeness of people and the not being able to be yourself or be natural and somebody not look down upon you is the fact that um, when you're going places in life how the very same person that you looked out for that you did your best to try and help is the same one to first person step up to tell you that you cannot do it that you, they don't think like somebody paid them to think. Yeah, because they thought them enough of themselves to make something good of themselves. The ones that's homeless always talking about your house. Yeah, your house, but they homeless. Yeah. Anyhow, um, I find that I'm gonna do something about this here though. This. It's, it's a bit much, but mm, in Corona, where are you going? Actually, where are you going? I got about a hundred wigs. I'll be changing them out from time to time. I don't need to come up here and prove nothing to no one. Yeah, especially the ones that I always look out for. They always be the ones in the back snickering. <laughs> you, you know, it's like, they're glad to see a flaw in you so that they can have it to talk. Well, me, I am not impressed. 
Yeah. A lot of y'all will say, oh, I'm not coming on camera. Look how she look. Coming on camera, this what? What do I look? My skin? Smooth. I lost weight, so my skin is sagging at the moment. And the gray hairs are intact. I had a lot of worries. I had a lot of life lived. But if you that's judging me about this, sit back and don't put on that lipstick. Don't put on the eyelashes. Don't go perm out that hair. Don't go color your hair. How would you look? Yes. How would you look? Yeah, so you see that what I learned from watching those Africans when you point a finger at someone, you see all these fingers? One, two, three. There's three pointing back at you. Yeah. Imagine that. The same strength you took to try and tear me down, you're being torn down. Torn to shreds. But I'm going to leave you with that because I don't want to get on my soapbox and start preaching because <laughs> I'm going to start sending around the collection plate. Yes, the collection plate, <laughs> like in church. Yes. So, with that being said, I kind of hear my um, kettle starting to boil up. So, I'm going to have my tea and relax for a moment. But I just want you to know that it's free to be nice to people. It's free to say kind words. In fact, I think it's easier to be nice than to be mean. Because mean comes from a place that you got to invest a lot of strength to come out of me girl, and say the right thing to but a compliment just rolls off you look nice today oh wow this looks good oh wow that's nice that didn't hurt but when you see them you big this and that blah, blah, blah. that takes a lot of neck movement a lot of yeah work on that I've spent a lot of time tearing people down, so that was my thought for today. So try your best. It's always, try your best to remember this. It's nice, it's very nice to be important, but it's the most important thing you could do is to be nice. Take care and have a wonderful day. <laughs> I think of me. I actually used to go to um, Antigua just to hear that in the morning. Bye now. Thanks for coming. <laughs>